Good evening. How you doing? Good. Sick. <laughs> Far out. So I just wanted to talk about my process for creating this kind of sci-fi panels. Um, it's a, it's a nice looking ship and it's coming along nicely. There's still a bit of work that still needs to be done, but I just kind of want to show you my process in creating the panels themselves. So the very first thing we need to do is bring in a mesh. So let's go shift a, add in a mesh, add in a plane. Now I'm going to move this into edit mode. So press tab to go into edit mode. I'm going to rotate Y 90 degrees from here. I'm just going to move this all the way off. You can see that it's actually off the ship itself. Let's kind of go scale, bring that down. And I'm just going to make it roughly the same size. Now that I can't remember who said it, but somebody said it that the panels are too small for this ship. They are correct. It is a lot of stinking work. Um, however, I will continue on with consistency. From here, I'm just going to make um, like a variation in the panel just so we've got uh, not just a square rectangle. Square rectangle, that's mm, good job, Marco. From here, I want to project this mesh onto the body. So I'm going to go into the add modifiers and we're going to go into a shrink wrap modifier. And my target is going to be the ship. Now, I'm not going to have it the wrap method on nearest surface point. That's because it's actually going to warp the square once it might move around the mesh, if that makes sense. It will, maybe. What I will do is change the wrap method to project. Okay. And we need to enable negative. So now it's now sitting directly onto that face. Um, but you can see that it's kind of uh, clipping. So the next thing I'll do is go into add uh, modifier. Let's go solidifier. And we're going to go into the offset. I'm going to make that zero. So now it's sitting both inside the mesh and outside the mesh. Now, if we go into um, edit mode, you know, we can just start moving panels around something like that, something like that. So let's just do this and this um, E whoops, control B. And for those of you who join me on my live stream, you will see I do that quite a bit. So if you're not subscribed, hey, just come on, man. Now using my kit bash set, I have already pre-created some of these. So I'm just going to click and drag this onto there. Let's kind of scale it down. Um, and we're going to do the following method, uh, the same method, or I could just bring this out. Let's go shift left click on what we've already created. Control J to join. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Now, if you ever do come across a mesh that you've imported like this, I can always go right click shade auto smooth. That might fix it. It might not fix it. The alternative is, is we can come into the object data down here and we can go clear custom split normal data. There we go. And so now I've got these panels and we can kind of just go ahead, select all da, 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 duplicate. There we go. Maybe we can do a bit of a rotation and then you can kind of see how we're lining up and we're creating that. Now, obviously you can add in variation, blah, blah, blah. Now, the next thing I wanted to show you as well, because there's a few things, is how do we go around corners? It sucks, but it needs to be done. Um, especially as you can see up here, how we've got it wrapping around those sections. Now, the way I go ahead and do it, I'm just going to select a nice, easy square for now. If I go like that, we can see that the mesh or the vertices are being projected directly onto the face. So the face of the mesh is just clipping through. That's fine. So what I'm going to do is go into edit mode. Um, let's what on earth is that? I'm just going to hide that just to make my life easier. This is the mesh we want to look at. So I'm just going to select these two control I to invert my selection and hide get staffed. Now from here, what I want to do is I want to add more geometry. So we've got that curve. I'm just going to do a control R and just start lining this up. And you can see how we've already started wrapping that object. So if we come back into vertices, I'm just lining up where the um, vertices are of our mesh or the edges. And now that we've done that, we can see that we've got that wrap around that part. Now this is where that project uh, UV, um, project shrink wrap works best 
because if we come back into the modifiers and we change this back from project to nearest surface point, you'll see that it changes because technically this point here is the nearest point um, for the left hand side of that mesh. So just something to keep, keep in mind. And that's why I use project cool beans. Now, a lot of this ship was created using my kit bashing set. The materials are available on Patreon. The texture itself is available on Patreon. So come over, say hi, download stuff. Links in the description. Subscribe. Can you please? It's, it's 1140 at night.